kind of went the way I thought it was going to, where like kids were going to get like all stressed and everything, being like, oh, I can't have my phone anymore. Like originally I thought it was just going to be a, a, another issue that the government kind of brings into schools. Like I didn't know if it would make that big a difference. Like I didn't love the idea of it, but I also like wasn't really against it. I was just kind of indifferent. Growing up in a high school system where phones had never been banned, I initially thought it was going to be quite difficult to stop using phones. It's now been more than a year since South Australia brought in a mobile phone ban in all public schools. I wasn't too happy about it, but over the weeks, I slowly grew into it. The classroom environment is quieter, there's less distractions, students are more engaged with the teacher. But also, there's been a lot of resistance with, you know, arguing with teachers. When SA first introduced its ban, we covered it here on BTN High. School's back, but phones aren't. And Amelia spoke to some students about how they felt in the early days of the ban. Definitely, I think, be a huge change for all students. We've become de dependent on our phones. We're so reliant upon our devices, it's going to be hard to adjust. And now we've come back to speak to some of those same students to see how they're feeling more than a year on. I think it's decreased the amount of time I spend on social media. Like, my tendency to pick up my phone and just scroll through social media has actually it's changed a bit and I think that that's probably in relation to the phone ban, yeah. I think everyone's like taken it really well, like um, definitely the socialisation levels have definitely improved um, both in the classroom and at recess and lunch. I, I concentrate so much better without my phone, like and you know like at the start I was like I don't want to admit that because I want my phone. But there is now a body of evidence that shows kids being stuck on screens is not good for their mental health and now in South Australia when you're at school you are free of that burden. South Australia is not the only state to do this. In fact, all public schools across the country have now banned mobile phones at school. But the SA government has just released a bit of a scorecard, which they look very proud of, showing some stats of how things have changed for school students over the past year. It used data from the Department of Education Incident Reporting System and compared Term 1 and Term 2 of this year with Term 1 and Term 2 of 2023 and found social media incidents like cyberbullying have gone down 63%, behavioural issues have gone down 54% and compliance issues, so problems with students not following the rules, are down 44%. Violence, which includes fights that were filmed on mobile phones, has gone down by 10%. That violence-related incidents, I want that to go down. There's still too much, there's no doubt about that. The sense of like bullying in our school, which is something that I like went through in year 10 when we did have the phones and I got cyberbullied and that could never happen now because we're not allowed our phones. Um, and that if it did happen, there's way more processes to kind of shut it down straight away because they weren't meant to be on their phones. Physical uh, bullying and violence, although it's something that you don't see every day, I don't think that the phone ban has changed that very much because I think that students still have the ability to go home at night and be on social media and hide behind their screens and say nasty things. Um, and I think that it kind of is, in my experience, has been completely separate from bullying in person. But not everyone agrees that a phone ban is the best way to support teenagers. Ban the phones. It's catchy. It's easy. Professor Marilyn Campbell from the Queensland University of Technology has just finished a scoping review, which looks at all the evidence from around the world, both for and against banning mobile phones in schools. From her research, she says there isn't enough evidence to prove that the phone ban leads to fewer distractions, better academic performance, improved mental health or less bullying. There's been no data on this perception that kids will learn more if we ban mobile phones. All of the studies have found there is only one set of kids who are only cyberbullied and don't get bullied face to face. It's such a huge statement that going on your mobile phone is bad for mental health. For some kids, it's really good for their mental health. For LGBT kids, for kids who feel different at school, going on and connecting with their tribe who might not be at school, is actually good for their mental health. Professor Campbell says there needs to be more research on how phone bans impact kids' lives more broadly and says instead of banning phones, young people should be taught how to use their devices in moderation. It should be things that they are instructed in, in, in mobile phone etiquette, 
to say that um, you don't use it at certain times, just part of living now. It, it, you can't say we, we won't have mobile phones anymore. So what changes have you noticed? I'm more social at like recess and lunch. Like instead of me and all my friends just like going on our phones, we like have like big conversations and stuff now. Lots more sport and lots more like physical activity, which is also like so amazing for like the students' like well-being. I've actually seen some changes to my mental health and well-being because the phone ban has enabled me to not have a dependency on using social media all the time. So it's allowed me to really enjoy the, the world and just reality. Mentally I think it's definitely helped with like concentration and just like your overall mood in school. There was a kid that would pull out his phone most of the time and he would distract the class uh, but now that we can't it, I've definitely been able to concentrate more and my grades have become better. It's good to have phones in lockers especially if there are new ways for students to be distracted in class it's good to eliminate at least one so that they can focus on learning which is what you come to school to do. In general I think we've just accepted it really well and I think that over the next couple of years when it keeps going and it starts to become more of a expectation for high school I think it will really help just the well-being of every student.